How's it going, Mr. Mates? This is Mr. Charles. We're back with Clanad, visual novel. And we're nearly, we're nearly at the point where I've got more episodes than any other Let's Play I've done on this series. The magic number is 108. So we're going to do that in just a few more days. The countdown begins. But previously we're doing Miyazawa's route, and now we're kind of at the point where anything can happen. I thought it was going to end on like the 24th, according to my walkthrough guide. But the game doesn't actually say when like uh, the, the, day, the day stop. It just kind of says where the choices stop. So this could go on forever, or I could just, you know, uh, finish it in the next episode. Who knows? But we're going to be going to the reference room. We're going to be seeing a girl. Wonder how she is. It's been like a whole day for me, but like a whole week for you guys. So let's see where this goes. All right, so I opened the door to the reference room. Yeah, we all know that. What's up? Tomeo-san and Sunahara-san, welcome. All right, we were following Sunahara. Oh, yeah, because we wanted to go with him, didn't we? Hey! I told you to just shut up. Oh, yeah, I've got you have the hots for her. Which, again, I've said before, I kind of like the idea of Sunahara and Miyazawa being together. Except I don't think he's Miyazawa's type. I can see it the other way around because Sunahara is just a lech. But, you know, it's just a greeting. I'll make some coffee. Yeah, sounds good. Please take a seat and wait. Yep. Just keep your eyes on my acting ability. First, I'm going to make it look like my hand accidentally touches her when I reach out to a cup. Well, that just sounds gay, but okay. Well, I, look, I'm not Sunahara. I'm not a romance expert. I have an amazingly gorgeous, beautiful girlfriend, though, so, you know, maybe I am. After whispering into my ear, he pushes my shoulder, signaling me to sit down. Okay. Well, he just looks like he's already failed. Then he turns his eyes to Miyazawa, who is still preparing our drinks. Oh, where's this gonna go? I feel bad having you make our coffee all the time, Yukine-chan. I'll do the rest, so just come and have a seat. With that said, he walks over to her. What? No, really, I can do it. The instant Miyazawa raises her hand about to pick up a cup... HA! With a roar, Sunahara jumps forward like a baseball player, ready to slide toward the home plate and reaches his hand out to the cup smooth. That's really, really smooth. Smoother than a baby's bottom. Right, okay. Beep. Something just made an electronic sound. Eh? Turns out Miyazawa's hand has pushed the fill button on the electric kettle out of momentum. Glug, glug, glug! Yeah! It's dripping on my hand! Pull your hand out! Why are you trying to bear it? Kick. <laughs> I run to Sunahara and kick it from the side. Something tells me it's going to be more painful fun than pleasurable, but, you know, who's really surprised here? I mean, he is basically comic relief man. Ow, ow, ow! He groans as he falls like a sad sea lion. Now I'm wondering what that sounds like, or looks like. Go cool your hand! Alright, attempt number one, absolute failure. Let's try again. Mm. Sunahara turns up to cooling his burnt hand with tap water. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to make it up to you. I didn't think you would stretch your hand out so suddenly. Miyazawa bows down deeply. You don't have to apologize to him. It was 100% his fault. Y yeah, it was my fault just now. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Seriously though, I didn't expect you to fill the empty cup with hot water. I was trying to preheat the cup. Ha <laughs> ha, you're so thoughtful, Yukine-chan. Oh, maybe compliments is the way to her heart. This could be, you know, like a Sims game. You know, you keep doing the relationship up, then you make out. I don't think that's going to work in Sunhara's case. Is your hand really okay? Yeah, it's okay. He'd survive even if you cut his head off. I would be dead right away. Such survival power. Don't believe him. Didn't I tell you to shut your trap? Sunhara pulls me in close by the collar and whispers. Are you still going to do it? Obviously. The night's still young, yo, babe. Young, yo, bit what? <laughs> Is he calling me? Okay, well now he definitely sounds gay. Also, um, it's not night time. I mean, the night's still young. The night's not even being born yet. The, the night is still in the uterus. Stubborn guy, he is. And also one that doesn't know his day and night. He can't tell the difference. Phew, the coffee you make is always so very best exquisito, Yukine-chan. Your words are all messed up, dumbass. Shut up! <laughs> Giggle. It's always fun to have both of you around. I don't blame you. I mean, we're just such idiots. Don't make it sound like we're some sort of comedy duo. Mm -mm. It seems like Sunahara is still waiting for a chance. And I have some snacks too. I'll bring them here. Miyazawa stands up from her chair. It's a chance. 
where you're going to try and touch her hand and get... Maybe not touch the hand, or, or any of her. Maybe just get to know her a bit. Find out what her favourite baseball team is. That's big in this game, right? I'll get them for you. Tell me where they are. Sunohara chases after her. Why, wow, I'm going to stumble. He leans forward after a few steps, about to fall down. Obviously, he's doing it on purpose. He must be intended to use the fall to bring Miyazawa down along with him. Well, that's not very thoughtful. Ah, they're here. But she suddenly squats down. Wah! Wow! Failing to catch her back, Sunohara's stumbling for real life this time. Whoops. In his attempt to stop the fall, he desperately clings onto the electric kettle in front of her. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, anyone want some boiled Sunohara? Pretty sure it's going to be quite well done. Soggy like wet paper left in the rain. Okay, beep. Something just made an electronic sound. Eh. Uh, but this time, it's not his hand, but his head that's directly under the spout of the kettle. Oh, joy. Boiled brain, anyone? As a result... Glug, glug, glug. Ah! <laughs> Sunahara co coffee is ready. Wait, he says that. All right, I don't know if you're trying to make her laugh or just be strange, but well, both of them are working, I'm guessing. No one wants such a thing. Kick. Again, I run to Sunahara and kick him from the side. Ow! ow! And again, he's falling down like a sad sea lion. Again, don't know what that looks like. Maybe I can play Zoo Tycoon a bit more. Go cool your head. You idiot. <laughs> you fool. A lot of red lines are running down your face. I can't see them, but I'll, I'll pretend they're there. Some sort of fashion. The scolds. How can I make it up to you? Just ask for a day. Just be like, hey, do you want to go get some sushi or some shit later? I'm broke, so you'll have to pay. Because <laughs> he always says that. He never he can pay for anything. He has to steal money from everyone or some shit. I didn't think you would follow right up behind, so... Like I said, it's 100% his fault. No, if I had paid more attention, I'm really... You did, though, didn't you? Just kind of like, you know, it's your instincts. It's your reflexes. It's the reflex. Da -da -da -da. I like a bit of Duran Duran. I watched a documentary about them yesterday. No, it's just my fault, really. <laughs> it's about time you gave up. If it's come to this, I'd have to take her on directly. You're still doing it. My heart is still burning. Probably get some, like, pills or something for that. Or, you know, some medicine. Yeah, your face too. <laughs> Whose fault do you think it was? It had nothing to do with me. You, you two always get along so well. Someone buy this girl a clue. Do we look like that to you? Giggle. This is the worst. Anyway, just keep your mouth shut and watch. You don't have to tell me. Sunahara and I return to our seats. It's funny that, to be fair, Tommy is not even doing that much to mess things up. He's just adding insult to injury, so it's not technically his fault at the moment. And maybe it was a bit of a weirder when they went in, but at the moment, he's actually not doing that much damage. Honestly, though, it was my first time seeing someone get burned on the head by a kettle. Well, no one would normally put their head under there, but Sunohara is a special case. Haha, <laughs> it's my first experience, too! When I get home later, I have to tell my family about this. Be careful not to get your face scalded while making coffee, ha ha ha! Maybe just imagining things, but what he said just now sounds like a line from a foreign drama. Oh, okay, I mean, I thought it'd be a bit weird for him to call his family because he doesn't really interact with him at all. I'm sure his sister comes down, but only because she phones him. Alright. By the way, Yukine-chan. Yes? Do you have someone you could call a boyfriend? I mean, it's not a terrible move. I'm not saying I've done it before, but you know, it's a, it's a decent line. He's really going straight on this time. E excuse me? I'm just wondering if your boyfriend won't get jealous seeing you talking with some strange men like this. I wouldn't want to eat his punch later, you know? Ha ha ha! Stop with that annoying tone, will you? Don't worry, I don't have a boyfriend. Yeah, now Zuo's going to think, Ah, oh, you're single? That must mean I can have you. And clearly he doesn't know decent etiquette. Ah, uh, whatever. In serio? Okay, he's gone full foreigner mode. Oh dear. Give us some tea, that'll work. Get to go for the British attack. The British manoeuvre. Throw tea bags at her. It's the truth. Then Yukine-chan! Sunara springs up from his chair, puts his hands on the table, and stretches forward. Then he stares at Yukine's face with his serious eyes. Yes, what is it? She looks back at him, still as innocently as ever. Yukine-chan? Yes? But please, become my girlfriend. Well, I'm not surprised that something happened, or like, you know, that didn't work. Did it not work? Did Sunara not get the girl in the end? I mean, I know after the story is a while away, but I'm really curious to see what kind of girl Sunohara ends up with. Bam! A sound like that, something having just exploded, echoes throughout the room. 
Guessing it's gonna be one of those boys. Yo, Yukine! It's the sound of someone opening the window. Huh? Someone's already here! Then comes an overly masculine voice. Must be one of Miyazawa's friends. Okay. A man in a slovenly unfamiliar uniform raises one of his legs high in to step out on the window frame and then lets himself in without saying another word. Ah, Tajime-san, good afternoon. Hey, Yukine. Hmm? Who is this guy? He looks like he's pressing on you. He's now standing next to Tsunahara. For comparison, anything you can think of on his body is at least one size bigger than Tsunahara's. I'm trying to think whether that wouldn't be beneficial. But I, I can't really think of anything like that. You know, bigger is always better. You know, dynamite, more dynamite blows up more buildings. You know, I don't even know what I can come up with there. Mm. Wow, okay. I've never seen you vibrate like a phone before, Tsunahara. You ever thought of becoming a Samsung? Tsunahara is still frozen in his proposing pose. Doesn't look frozen. Actually, it looks really sketchy now. No, if you look closely, his body is shaking slightly. Yeah, I need to look closely. I can't exactly see that. No, he's definitely shaking. I'm sorry, Tajima-san, but I'm in the middle of a conversation with him, so please wait for a moment. Fine, finish it quickly. Let's see. I heard you say to please become your girl something. Please tell me the ra What could it possibly be? Girl assistant? Girl driver? Girl... Cook? I don't know. I really couldn't guess what you're about to say. Hmm? Your girl? Finish what you're trying to say. You won't have to hear it, right? Right? Clank, clank, clank. The table starts to shake violently. Does everyone fantasy you, nature? I can see why, to be honest. Now, now, Tajime-san. Come on, let me hear it too. Yeah, trying to be a Samsung or a Nokia. This is bad. You know how I may not make out of this in one piece. Well, <laughs> to be fair, with all those rugby players that always attack him, I wouldn't be surprised if he, you know, survived this. Sunahara, gotta save his ass now. Your love is already ripped apart. Gah! Love, you said. So he loves you, Kane? Yeah. How long have you known her, bastard? Uh, for like three, you know, I just destroyed my non-swearing, eh, uh, whatever. Like, it's not gonna happen, is it? I mean, I'm definitely gonna get sent to jail or something when I'm in Taiwan just for, like, you know, accidentally saying a swear word. For, like, three days? Three days? And you're already doing this? Just who do you think you are, bastard? It had the opposite effect. My bad, you know, I may have poured oil into the fire. <laughs> Having his shoulders gripped from behind, Sunahara's looking at me with his sad, sad eyes, ready to be thrown out the window, like a cat that really doesn't want to go out in the cold. Okazaki! What? Am I the only one who thinks that we are friends? Can you hear me? Can you hear what I'm saying? I can't hear anything you're saying. Well, bye. Maybe have a nice life. Sunahara is gone. Yeah, but he's not going to be like dead or anything, is he? I mean, even if he is, we can just restart the timeline. The empty chair only reminds me more and more of him. Why is this all of a sudden turned into a gay drama? Gone are the days we fooled around, laughing with each other. I wonder why. I can only remember your crying face now. Why can't I remember any of your happy expressions? Probably because you were pretty fucking miserable this playthrough. Is it because I've only done horrible things to you? Is this serious or not? I can't tell. But even though I was always like that, I've always... G Crap, I'm hungry. Guess I'll go have some gyudon on the way home. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Or oh, gyudon. What's that? It sounds like udon, but, but tasty. Apparently, I've already done this text. Well, no, I think I've remembered this shit, to be honest. Alright, whatever. Uh, what's gyudon? Uh, it's a bowl of rice topped with beef. It's popular among... Oh, like, um, gyuniku. Like, that, that's beef, or gyunyu. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so that makes sense. Uh, it's popular among financially limited students due to its affordable price and decent taste. Well, I'm not a huge fan of rice, but if that's what you want to go for, I'm not going to blame you there. Okay, so you can have some gyudon. Uh, don't stop at the most important part! What, you're still alive? I thought I was going to die for real. Probably not. Let's celebrate your safe return. Go treat me some gyudon. So I, who barely made it out alive, has to treat you. Isn't it obvious? Even I don't quite understand how it works, but isn't that the wonder of our friendship? It doesn't work that way. Uh, so it doesn't? It's all your fault things turned out like this, damn it. Your efforts would have been in vain anyway. That I can believe, to be honest. Impossible! Her eyes and mine met several times! Yeah, because you were just doing weird shit. Yeah, there are only how they think people have a crush on them just with that. Are you talking about me? I'm not saying that it was you, just one of my friends. We don't have any other friends, do we? 
Well, don't be so depressed, amigo. That's 100% about me, isn't it? I'll leave that to your imagination. It may or may not be you. Well, we will know the answers tomorrow anyway. Huh? Why is that? Because I'm going to tell other guys that one of my friends is a misunderstanding idiot and that he jumped ahead to confess his love in vain. I wonder if they'll figure out who I'm talking about. Well, obviously they will. Mm. Do you want to eat some gyudon on the way home, so Kazaki? Oh, a nice idea. Wow. Well, always a good friend. Always supporting our lad when he wants some girl in his life. Again, there is no way he's ever going to end up with someone. Okay, New Week has arrived, and with it, another Monday. Good place to end the episode, I think. So I think the Yukine playthrough is going to take some time, because we haven't really got to know her that well. We don't know what she's doing with the guys. Like, there has to be some backstory coming, surely. And not to mention, like, according to this Yukine walkthrough thing, I've got three more choices to make. Which, you know, I, I know what choices I need to make. It's just a matter of there's going to be three coming up. So how's that going to go down? Are they going to cover all three at once, or is it going to come, like, at some point in the future? I guess we'll see that. In the next episode. Before you give yourself, see where this goes with Miyazawa. Then there, well, there will be a link to the game. I was going to say, maybe there will, maybe there won't be. But there will be a link to the game in the description down below. Without further ado, the Bitscribe channel, it's time. See ya!